Taurus, how's it going? Welcome to your singles reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Those of you that consider yourself single, what we do here is we take a look at two different people you could be dealing with during this time period. If one or both looks like a viable option, then I will also pull you an outcome for that person. We'll see how you feel about them as well. If you have somebody in mind that you're already talking to or dating or whatever, and you know their zodiac sign, I'll also pull your energy with the different signs at the end. You can feel free to uh, contact me for a personal reading if you want one. Everything you need to know to get a hold of me is in the description box to the video. You can also feel free to follow me on other social media. I am everywhere under the same name, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. All right, guys, here we go. So your first person. Um, both of these people look amazing actually but your first person very independent they could even be somebody who's like independently wealthy has their own business whatever very independent they're the kind of person where they don't need to be in a relationship they don't which i think is the only way to be honestly to be in a healthy relationship i think that you have to be all right being by yourself too being content they are um they're like that so they're not looking to fill a void or anything they're good it's just kind of like relationship is bonus. Um, but they are looking to settle down. They're looking for the whole deal. And they look at you as somebody that they could settle down with, um, have kids, whatever, if that's your thing. And it's gonna be clear. Like there's not gonna be anything hidden. They're gonna be real straight up about what they want, what they're looking for. And this is like ultimate happiness with you two. Like really. I'm not even joking. You have the sun with them. That's the happiest card in the deck. All right, let's get some more on them. The moon, Pisces. You have the sun and the moon. Oh my gosh, Taurus. What is this fairy tale shit? I love it. So it could be a Pisces. Um, there isn't anything that's hidden is going to come out with this person. Nothing bad. It's just kind of like you like uncover like hidden parts of each other. All right. So it's going to feel kind of like you're going to want to hide parts of yourself or they are at, like out of fear, but that's not going to last very long. It's going to it's going to be like no. We're going to shine light on the parts of each of us that we feel like we need to hide so that we can see that we don't have to hide them. It's like you guys kind of the connection between the two of you, it's like there's no walls. Like you guys try to have walls, either both of you, one of you, whatever, you try to be guarded but the connection just doesn't allow for it. It kind of just like knocks down whatever walls you try to put up. Yeah, it's very balanced, very equal give and take. Um, they could be somebody who's real generous, likes to like gift you with things. They could be a Libra. Um, anyway, let's see how you feel about this person. How does Taurus feel about this person? How will Taurus feel about this person? You feel like you guys have a lot of fun. You like to hang out with them. It's a good time. Um, you might have friends and family in common, whatever. Maybe you're in the same friend group. Oh, we now have two threes. Do you feel like they are in another connection? Do you feel like it's a love triangle? Do you feel like they're dealing with somebody else? I don't see that, but if they are, it wouldn't be a cheating thing. It'd just be because you guys are single and dating around, you know? It wouldn't be like anything hidden. Um, I think you feel like you guys make a good team though. You work well together, like it, it would feel like a partnership. All right, so what's the outcome should you choose to deal with this person? Temperance, Sagittarius, that's beautiful. It's harmony, it's balance. You mix well together. I feel like I just said that. Um, it's like alchemy. 
it's a very like zen very healing type of a connection very calm very patient you know um you balance each other out there's a lot of balance between the two of you all right next person we have the lovers potentially a gemini but definitely a divine counterpart and we have a ton of them but this is one of them um could be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius doesn't have to be any of them but this is also a very balanced connection. This person's very attractive, very energetic, um, outgoing, extroverted, confident. A lot of people are into them. Um, but there's something going on with them where they're kind of not feeling very hopeful when it comes to emotion and love. Doesn't mean that they're not going to um, get in a relationship because this is a this is a divine counterpart of yours and there's a lot of attraction between the two of you but there's something that they're still holding on to nine of cups yeah wish fulfillment we now have pisces here as well and virgo with the hermit it, they could be somebody who's been isolated for quite some time maybe they've been just hiding out because they they've been feeling really pessimistic when it comes to um, their love life or life in general, really sad over things that happened in the past. So they've been pretty closed off because of it. Um, they may be somewhat introverted, but it's like they're now they're like getting back out there, um, being excited again. What they're wishing for is that divine counterpart connection. Like they don't, they don't want to be stuck in their room crying over past shit forever that's just where they've been eight of wands yeah so um you can meet them online but i think most people meet that way today anyway so it's whatever but there's a lot happening real fast if you choose to deal with them a lot of communication and it's not just talking this is action as well um if they're at a distance from you it's not gonna matter all right let's see how you're gonna feel about them how do you feel about this person, Taurus? Confused. <laughs> You're going to feel confused. You're going to fantasize about them, maybe. You find them to be dreamy, but you're going to be confused. Maybe you're just dating a lot of people and you don't know who to pick. Um, this person is probably pretty wise, too. You know, they've really gotten to know themselves and judgment yeah you're going to be confused and maybe feeling unable to make a definite decision on this you might be questioning your own judgment with this person let's get you an outcome should you choose to deal with them oh the chariot cancer so if you choose to deal with them this is success, this is victory, it's forward movement. And it could also be literal movement. Like if you get in a relationship with them, one of you might move closer to the other one. All right, let's get you in the other signs, Taurus. dealing with Aries you could be releasing yourself from an Aries um, or getting over some fear in that connection if you're still dealing with an Aries it's not going to be as unhealthy as it was previously Taurus dealing with Taurus lots of um, attraction there so this is one that's going to be very exciting, um, very adventurous, very in the moment, very physical. I don't know if it goes beyond that, but there's that. Taurus and Gemini. So they want an actual relationship. They're looking for a new beginning with you. Um, definitely expressive emotionally, open emotionally, available. Taurus dealing with cancer. 
they're just kind of watching, waiting, um, trying to see what you're going to do, trying to figure, figure you out, figure out what they want to do in this situation with you. Probably not doing anything right now, just watching like a fucking creep. No, I'm, I'm kidding. They're not being creepy. They're just waiting. <laughs> Taurus dealing with a Leo. They feel like you get a lot of attention and they don't feel good enough. For you um they feel like you know maybe you're like a loss like they just can't like it, this could be somebody you've already dealt with it feels like they lost you taurus dealing with virgo and you have virgo in this reading by the way they feel like it's a waste of time or you feel like it is there's nothing really growing there taurus and libra you have a stalker libra probably somebody you blocked ghosted ghosted you whatever but they're still watching you your social media asking people about you being fucking weird taurus dealing with scorpio um so there's some sadness there some lack of clarity some confusion you know taurus and sagittarius they're still sad over some things that happened in their past they might that might be this person over here that's still got some like issues being pessimistic or whatever Taurus and Capricorn they're not looking for a traditional type of a commitment they might be somebody who um, you guys don't share the same belief system or they're looking for something non-conventional which is whatever maybe you are too Taurus and Aquarius so there's a lot happening real fast a lot of talking a lot of actual action this is Cupid's arrows um, this is something that's going to move really quickly if you want it. Taurus and Pisces. They're stressed over the connection with you. And if you haven't dealt with them yet and they're just kind of like an interest, they're going through some kind of depression, anxiety. They're just kind of not in a healthy place. All right. I love you guys. Take care. Thanks for hanging out with me.